Hi, um, so this is my evaluation of our meet and greet that we did with Hetty and B. Um, goodness, where do we, where do I start? Um, just in general, meeting them was honestly, it was great. It was so helpful. Um, they were so good in answering our questions. They didn't do, um, what I like to say, what I like to call like the politician where they just kind of go around the question and go their own way and they answered the question directly and they told us what we wanted to know which is amazing um i asked two questions one of them went well one of them went poorly um i was kind of um stumbling over my own words and i wasn't really um i not that I wasn't concentrating, but I didn't think through how I was going to word the question beforehand and I was really struggling and Claire to jump in and save me, which I really appreciate. Um, my questions, what, oh, I have them here. Oh, one of my first question was um, for B and it was, um, how does it feel being an actor and director on the same piece? Um, I, because I presumed it would have been a bit manic and she said it was manic. <laughs> Um, she wouldn't really recommend it unless you are like certain on it, uh, not do it on such like a big project such as, um, being at Fringe Festival, but yeah. And my second question was, um, which I stumbled on, was, um, so the play has a lot of facts in it and, um, was that your intention to educate more than bring to light? Um, that was how it was meant to work, but it did come out of that. It came out like, ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, and she said, um, it was more to bring the light, but we added all the facts that also educated them, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, it was great. It was, honestly, I learned so much about the script. And not just that, we learned a lot about, um, um, uh, about them and the, uh, Pigfoot company. Um, so yeah, um, I remember JJ asked a great question, which is just what university did you guys go to? Um, and neither of them studied theatre, which is absolutely crazy to me. One of them studied history, Hetty studied history. Um, I don't think they, uh, B told us what she, when she just told us she went to Oxford. Um, but neither of them did theatre, which is absolutely crazy to me. But it shows that um, no matter what you do, um, all the qualifications you get, you can go on that path uh, of acting if you do try. Um, which is so reassuring. It's so reassuring. Um, and yeah, like, it, it honestly, it's so good. Um, we talked so... It, <laughs> It was an hour and a half long conversation, basically. Um, I don't know what really to say about it. I, I, I think I learned so much about the being in fringe theatre. Um, uh, what's it? Um, Dean asked a great question about um, producing your own company and um, how to do that, how to go along with it. Um, what she answered extraordinarily that's a big word for me jesus um <laughs> and yeah it's it was just honestly just meeting them alone was crazy because i don't think i've really met someone apart from my directors who are in the industry and only working in the industry they haven't got a side job or such i know but they're getting their income from acting um it was great to know um, how they, um, see, I'm stumbling over my words so much, I apologise. Um, it was great to see how the show came to be, um, what they're working on next, what they're working on next. Um, I was really overthinking one small thing and it was B's name. Doing that whole thing, I just kept going. It's B, it's B, it's B, not Bay, because my dyslexia kept um, 
messing up the letters and changing the B and the A around. So I kept going in my head when I was like going through my questions, like, so babe, um, and I was like, no, it's B. So the whole time I was kind of overthinking that small little part to make sure that I make a fool of myself. Um, but I did anyways. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was honestly, they were so helpful and I really hope to hear from them soon and I hope they were able to get back on their feet after all this and yeah that's I don't know what else to say that's about it yeah it was honestly it was just so reassuring and it was so good to hear some of that during this like time of COVID-19 and how they're going they're planning to get back on track as soon as they're allowed to so it's um uh open theatres are allowed to start um producing and letting shows on again um and yeah honestly it's just it's great it's amazing um yeah thanks